Hey everybody, it's Duke here. I'm gonna take a look at this uh, Montana 3781RL. Take a look at the beautiful interior and the floor plan. Uh, the RL stands for rear living. You can see it's got a lot of windows. Uh, that's the back slide out it has three windows on it and this side slide out. So you've got pretty much a panoramic view from this angle over here. And it has a traditional rear living floor plan in terms of a dinette with four chairs. Two of them are being stored in another part of the RV right now. But you've got a dinette that is encompassed by these windows here. So you can sit there and uh, have a cup of coffee, have a meal, uh, do some work on your laptop if you're uh, full-timing and enjoying the RV lifestyle and doing some working and uh, traveling at the same time. Uh, whatever you want to do you just have a nice view right now we have a nice view of this traffic buzzing by on i-10 here out here in waller county uh, everybody's get want to get somewhere fast okay so the other this slide out this is on the campsite so you have a view of the campsite from the dinette and here is the theater seating so there's some buttons you can push on there for accent lighting uh, there's a little usb uh, port right there next to the button also it's uh, there's you can heat it up you can uh, get a massage from your chair by pushing the button for that and the other thing you can do with this uh, this has a cup holder an armrest but you can push this up and have a uh, cozy sofa right here so that is versatile if you want a little bit of uh, separation here you can do that you can have that you won't be right next to each other let's take a look at what's inside this little thing this is a 110 and usb uh, outlet right there you can hook up to charge up your devices uh, plug anything in that you got and over here on the side there is a dimmer for these lights on this uh, uh, slide out again you see lots of windows here there's some storage up there and now all the windows out here they have these valances so right now i've got the screen down but if say you want to put out the the, the privacy shade the blackout shade uh, you can see with this valance right here uh, nobody can see in through the edges uh, if they're walking by at night and you, it also makes it uh, darker in here so if you've got somebody that's if sleeping on this uh, king size bed, this triple wide sofa right here is a trifold sofa, it makes it into a king size bed. Well, they don't have to get up at the crack of dawn. Uh, they'll be able to keep it dark in here in comfortable form. So uh, this is versatile. You can use that as a king size bed, or if you're just sitting here in your uh, theater seat in your recliner enjoying the ambiance of your electric fireplace a little bit of heat coming off of there maybe listening to your jbl uh, sound system you see the stereo speakers you could always just uh go right over there and take a nap put a couple of throw pillows on there anytime you feel like taking a nap you can see you got a big screen tv and then back behind this tv there is a subwoofer let's take a look at that it's on this side over here i knew there was one here there it is there's your subwoofer it's all about the base so uh, you can get the get some good sound with that subwoofer and JBL stereo system there's some storage up top here I got to keep moving along I have to talk to uh, the director of this video that's Duke He's all, we also have an executive producer named Duke and a camera operator. We all have the same name. There's the kitchen right there. So we've got the fireplace. And there's good floor space in here. It really op it's, uh, makes it comfortable. And just while we're over here, up above there is a ceiling fan and a very quiet air conditioning system with the called blade system for the uh to disperse the air properly you've got accent lightning uh, all along the top there and while we're here let's take a look at the accent lighting on that uh island that's looks very nice i'm going to sit down so you can get a view of that 
you see the the uh, 110 outlet right there if you want to plug in a blender a juicer maybe you have a instant pot whatever appliances you have and while we're looking at this island which has got a lot of counter space on it uh, it has a big uh, stainless steel sink right here and then a smaller one a lot of times customers complain when it's just uh, right down the middle because uh, they want a bigger sink well this has the bigger sink but you still have a smaller sink also have a very modern faucet right there modern looking faucet very functional this will come out right here and you can uh, let's see how you do that well it helps if I know how to do that but uh, it does have a spray nozzle there it is you could pull that down and uh, spray off your dishes you need to learn how to operate this stuff hey there's my contact information that's some high-tech graphics right there I know all these other channels they got high-tech graphics so I'm trying to keep up with everybody I'm Duke and that's my cell number you can send me a text I'll be happy to answer any questions you have if you want to make sure your truck can tow this one mostly covering the floor plan today but if you send me a text I'll get with you and uh, make sure we can uh, recommend uh, something that'll your truck can pull safely so we got a lot of uh, storage space underneath here see all those doors and you've got a lighted drawer look at that and see how they uh, close by themselves these drawers will do that so it's all lit up down there I'm not gonna have any trouble finding anything Oh, it even lights up down here when you open it and there are the uh, sink covers right there so uh, you can see these residential hinges uh, hidden residential hinges so they're not uh, cutting corners it's solid wood cabinetry here lots of space down there oops sorry about that got my finger in the camera view that's not very professional okay I'm gonna leave that in there just to keep it real that's what I like to do on my channels keep it real that sounds better than uh, a good excuse right As they say when it comes to excuses just pick one any one will do so there is some storage space there and here is your microwave and it says convection microwave so that means you can do some browning there in your microwave oven it's a convection oven also so you've got storage up on each side of it a little storage spot up there look at this nice accents they have on this uh, cabinet work oh look you got a spice drawer here this is cool look at that you got room for your cumin your allspice star anise I would recommend you know there's three spices I'd recommend uh, onion powder garlic powder and chili powder of course you gotta have black pepper you can do all kinds of stuff with those spices though but uh, you, you know if you like a lot of different spices you got room for them right there and you have some I got carried away on the spices sorry I do like that chili powder though you got a nice looking cooktop lots of counter space here and then you have this little uh, feature right here where you just push this button pull it up and you've got USB and 110 connections right there you've got another one of those on the other side as well so you're gonna be uh, have plenty of places to plug things in look at that beautiful accent lighting okay I want to point out one thing on this slide out on the floor here there is no lip you're not going to stub your toe the Keystone engineers have uh, made it flush on both sides and that is a plastic type mesh material so if you have small dogs that you know have a tendency to uh, want to go number one on the carpet you shouldn't have that problem on here but this is a plastic material or a synthetic material it's not it's not like carpet so you don't have to worry about that of course you have a uh, 200 watt solar panel on the roof and these it's got seven inverted plugs I believe six or seven one of them uh, goes to this refrigerator so when you're driving down the road you can have the solar panel is going to be on it's going to be connected up if you uh, as you drive down the road and it'll keep your fridge going and you could uh, have two batteries in there you could have a lithium battery you could go with AGM so just depend on what you're doing but this uh, this one right here is uh, 
it's got the solar flex 200 so it's expandable if you want more solar panels it's already pre-wired for it so let's take a look up here look at these beautiful lighting fixtures right there all right so we're going to move along and uh, one thing i want to show you is that when you first walk in the door here uh, there is a closet so when you open the closet this light automatically comes on and you could put a washer and dryer in here you have full hookups for the washer and dryer and a, or you could hang clothes up in here or you could put a little combo unit down there and do both so it just depends on what you want to do that's very convenient that way you don't have to worry about the uh, washer dryer making noise while you're trying to sleep it's much easier here you're not uh, in a confined area when you're trying to load and unload your clothes so that can be very convenient and then there is storage up top that's huge right there so this is just as deep as the closet so you could store some stuff maybe that you're not using every day stuff you buy if you want to go to costco or sam's club buy about a bunch of jars of pickles any discount items you buy in bulk you could store them up there paper towels and then uh, there's a corner closet here so I've covered the in command system on my videos before I'm not really going to go over it but I do want to point out uh, that this is uh, the in command is about is available on the uh, legacy this happens to be a legacy so this is really the main thing I think the only thing that's different than a regular Montana as far as the interior but that's going to control your slides your lights your HVAC system uh, awnings and you can download an app and uh control all that from your phone look at that beautiful handrail i said beautiful too many times that's gorgeous that, i meant to say gorgeous We've got a vacuum cleaner that's built in as we go right there at the base of the steps so let's go ahead and go up the steps and in the hallway they continue the theme of uh windows rv luxury you've got a view even in the hallway here that's a nice touch so you've got two basins, bowls, two wash basins or vessels, whatever you want to call them. So the advantage of this is when you're washing your face, uh, it, you, you don't have to lean over so far. You're not going to get water all over the place. And then it also leaves more room under the sink because the sink doesn't drop down into the cabinet. So you've got storage under there. That's four drawers then you've got a big compartment right here this is your medicine cabinet again high end hinges solid wood and there is a mirror on each side a good size mirror so you can uh, look at yourself and make sure that you're beautiful and gorgeous uh, here's a place you can hang up towels or a towel I guess there is your porcelain toilet there's a heating vent right by the toilet so you can keep yourself warm as you uh, sit there. There is a plug right there to plug in your items. And look at that a speaker right here. You can, you can rock the shower, rock the bathroom. You can have your uh, Frank Sinatra. You can swing to some Tony Bennett backed up by the Count Basie Orchestra. Listening to Merle Haggard. Whoever you like. If you like Barbara Streisand, you can listen to Barbara Streisand okay this is a shower sorry got sidetracked I got good decent headroom here I think you could be uh, I don't know six four would be all right I'll measure it if you if you think you're close on that you got a place to sit down and you have the nice clear shower doors for the uninhibited bather but you do have a door here you can close the door to the bathroom but you don't need frosting on your door. That's what we've already determined that. You've got this uh, uh, luxury shower here. So we're going to go ahead and move on. All right. I got to get some new material. I think I already used that in a different video. So sorry about that. I got to be a little bit more original. Hey, this isn't original. This is the same thing. It's a king size bed. That's what you get in a Montana. And it has those uh, shelves up there on the top on each side. You can put a CPAP machine. And each side has a 110 and USB uh, connection. So you can power up your devices, run your CPAP machine. There's a couple of reading lights up there. If you want to read a good old-fashioned book and turn the pages. Uh, 
get the best seller if you're on the book club book of the month all right and so that's the king size bed and you have a large uh, dresser chest of drawers in here on this slide out there's a also a TV and a window that's your emergency exit right there if you need to make an emergency exit this is the this is where you do it so if you get in trouble you pull that out hop out the window and remember to uh, be more careful next time on what you say so you don't have to make an emergency exit I don't know that it's such a bad thing to lie every once in a while here we go see those drawers I just wanted to demonstrate that okay so here in the closet this automatically lit up when I came in here it's got a little sensor uh, but it's got a plenty of space for shoes boots whatever you want to put down there and uh, lots of stuff room to hang stuff up I'm gonna open up this door from the other side so I can show you this uh, laundry hamper right here you can put a laundry hamper or a basket in there and collect your clothes before you wash them if you do want to use the washer dryer here you can or uh, you can use one at the RV park or if you're traveling around so I want to thank you for viewing my video my name is Duke and I'll be happy to uh, work with you this is a uh, the Montana legacy we have in stock if you want more information on it I can shoot a custom video for you uh, if you any of the RVs that you see on my channel I'll be happy to work with you if we end up making a deal you'll be welcome to come out here and uh, stay in our camp campground for a few days we'll work out all the details in advance trade-in price the uh, price the tax the payments no hidden fees we, we don't charge extra to put uh, propane uh, the freight's already included in the price no surprises and after you sign the paperwork we'll spend a couple hours going through the RV with you however long it takes inside and out show you how everything operates and then we will move it to our campground we have 18 full hookup sites with uh, water electric and sewer and you will be able to uh, do a little shakedown camping experience and any concerns that come up any technical adjustments that need to be made or questions we will address them while you're here it's a great way to start out your ownership experience uh, take a look at the ceiling here hey thank you again for viewing my video I, my uh, phone number is down in the description below and uh, if, you, if you watched all the way to the end uh, well I would invite you to hit the like button or with a thumbs up button that's what it is thumbs up thank you again and I hope you're doing well